Hello coders, welcome to Dave Byte School. I hope all of you are doing great. So in today's video, day 26 video, we deploy our Spring Boot project and a Grafana and Prometheus on a Docker container to achieve monitoring and alert. Okay. And we also learned today how to deploy any application on a Docker container. Okay. So after completing the whole session, you see the beautiful UI or Grafana UI where you monitor all your like heap size jvm uses number of requests then a uh, cpu stuff and all those stuff okay if you're new to our channel i highly suggest you to subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon so whenever we upload new video you get a notification of that and we create one telegram group okay so in that telegram group we are uh, sharing the important interview tips and tricks and our video updates uh, if you're doing uh, some live session on zoom that also we are sharing okay so join that uh, telegram group link in the description and qr code also come over here okay so let's start uh, on our main session okay so let's uh, first understand what is a docker okay so docker is basically containerization tool where we deploy our any uh, project or any application okay so why uh, we need a docker for example each and every system uh, have a different operating system like i'm using mac if you are using windows for each and every application the configuration is different okay so if i share a project to you you need to do lots of configuration change uh, the path and all the stuff so docker will help that so what docker says deploy your all microservice or all services on one container okay and give me that container means i i will share uh, you the container so in that way we don't need to do any configuration for example today we deploy all our service on a linux server and in future business requirement change and that that time we thought like we have to deploy each and every stuff on a windows server okay so that time docker will help we don't need to do any configuration because we deploying each and every stuff on a docker container so uh, first step is you need to install a docker in the system so for that just a type a docker download and the first link will open after that you do whatever operating system you're using just uh, download that and after downloading this application will open it's give you all this information what are the containers uh, running and all the stuff so after that start your application and uh, you can do from command also so but i'm not prefer that stuff okay like in command you can open cmd and uh, write all those important command like for example if you need to check a docker how much images present in the system like just do that docker images okay so same stuff you can use uh, from a command and go to your project path and do that i'm using terminal for this so after that i'm not doing each and every stuff by using command i process the whole stuff by using script okay docker compose file don't worry, I will explain you the each and every stuff step by step. Okay. So our first goal is deploy a Spring Boot application on a Docker. For that, I create one Docker file. In Docker file, what is a Docker file? For example, what first question come in mind? So Docker file is it's basically a script where you define each and every step. And when you run that Docker file, whole script will be run. So we define number of steps. So first step is like our Spring Boot require a Java 17 version. Okay, that reason I define uh, this Eclipse version. So how you know that like which image you need to use? One website over there, which is Docker Hub. So in a Docker Hub, when you search, like for example, you are using JDK 17. So for that, just uh, search JDK 17. And whatever the important images available in a Docker Hub, it's given to you. You can use anything you want. Okay. So here uh, I'm using Eclipse, which is uh, currently available. After that, I create one work directory. Means we need to deploy our project in some folder. So that is that I create app work directory. After that, when you clean your project, install your project using Maven command. So that time your file is created on a target folder. So what I'm saying to my a script, do one thing. Just copy the jar file from a target a folder and paste in our app directory. After that, here I'm defining uh, the command. You can run a jar by using minus java minus jar command. Okay. After that, we need to deploy a Prometheus in our Spring Boot application. So after that, we need to deploy Prometheus on a Docker. For that, I create a Prometheus.yaml file. I create a separate folder for understanding like Prometheus.config.prometheus.yaml. So in that, I defined application name, which is uh, devbyteschool.blog. Then target is 800 host. 
which is a docker internal host like we are running our application on a, a docker container it is internal azure port after that i defined the interval where you retrieve all those uh, data like whatever data exposed by our actuator we can collect that data after each and every 3 seconds and store in our data source okay so here i defined a path matrix path from where we need to collect that particular data so if you search this path in our project we are discuss this stuff on day 25 video let's discuss this again so here uh, when you go to prometheus when you hit this particular path so this ui will be open so here you can run any query like jvm buffer uh, size and all the stuff okay and when you click on graph the whole data will be exposed so prometheus collect a data after each and every 3 seconds and store in their data source after that we are deploying grafana okay in a docker so why we are using grafana so we are using grafana for showing the whole good representation which we just seen at the starting of video and define various alerts so i create a separate folder for grafana so here like grafana data source i defined okay so in that data source i am saying like the data source i define a data source name which is prometheus the type is like we are using prometheus to collect all those data and i defined a url so url is localhost 9090 okay. after that one important file is there yaml file which is docker compose dot yaml file after uh, defining grafana stuff we have one docker compose file over there so what is a docker compose file so docker compose file is basically a script where you running multiple services step by step so we have prometheus we have grafana we have our spring boot application so we not run each and every step by using command prompt and all the stuff so we define whole script to running all three application okay so first we define like prometheus first we define a service okay the first service is prometheus so prometheus version we defined then a container name we are deploying a prometheus in prometheus container then the port which we need to expose then we define a path where you collect this prometheus.yaml file after that we define a grafana the version then the port okay what port we need to expose so here basically two port is showing like 9090 and 9090 so first is represent by your docker port and the second one is represent by your project port okay so we are mapping our docker port to our project port after that uh, we define our spring boot project service okay where we defined our docker file then a project name then 800 port okay so whole script over there so after that we just need to click on this services after clicking services whole process will be run and our three project which is installed in a docker when you hit a, this a prometheus so prometheus working fine perfectly after that in a docker so here ui is coming okay. so you don't need to define each and every stuff in ui this all already prerequisites templates available in a grafana marketplace in grafana marketplace only predefined designs are there for all dashboard and alert whatever you require just search like spring boot okay you can search a java also so whatever related to java dashboard multiple dashboards over there you can pick any dashboard like jvm marketplace and all those stuff like let's click on a java okay uh, or a jvm so after clicking jvm this jvm monitoring dashboard will become you just need to download this a uh, json file uh, click on downloads and click on save so one json file will be downloaded after that you need to go to a home first you need to define a data source connection so already we configure each and every thing in a script so we don't need to do this all stuff manually but you can do all the scripts you need to do uh, that stuff in manually okay so you just define a, a new connection and click on grab prometheus and give the your port name and all the stuff and click on test connection and click on save we already did that that is not required so if you want to import any new monitoring and alerting panel you just need to click on this three icons and after that a uh, click on a dashboard after clicking on dashboard you need to click over here and click on imports after uh, click on import whatever json file we downloaded okay we you just need to import that and click on import after that you need to select your data source which is prometheus and click on import so after clicking import the whole dashboard will be installed and this dashboard start utilizing all those data after that whatever business requirement you have you can uh, change this dashboard as per your requirement like if you want to delete this stuff you can uh, delete that rename that 
if you want to define any specific alert you can def define that alert also so that's it from today's video uh, if you have any question please write down comment we will try to address that and if you're new to our channel i highly suggest you to subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon so whenever we upload new video you get a notification that okay let's meet on next video uh, till then happy coding